Hi, I'm Marty Mills with Rice Lake Contracting. We've got the construction project with the City of Detroit Lakes called the E2Q project. We're building a whole new wastewater plant on the site of the old plant and the new plant is about 25 times more effective at cleaning up the water to send it out into the lakes in the region. This is the new number two building, influence structure. Basically the water comes in through the new pipelines that we put in to a new screening station, then lift pumps send it up into a process screening room, which we'll go to next. We're up in the PTB 03 building now. The water from the last building we were at, the 02 influent pumping station, gets discharged right into this chute, where we have two gorgeous six foot Huber screens that take out anything down to the two micron level for the water to go out into a gravity box straight back to the brand new MBR system that we're building on the back side of the site. That's where we're headed next. This is the new electric service building. We will be placing all of the old service feed that came into the old plant, which was approximately 50 years old with brand new service gear. All of the systems will be running off of this building. If you take a little look around in here, you can see how many different conduit runs we have. Already stubbed in, it's quite extensive. Just to the back of us here, you'll notice a slab for the new standby generation. If the power ever goes out from the city, they'll still be able to provide service to the wastewater plant. Okay, the water's come out of the screening building and comes out in a splitter box in this end of the big MBR tanks. At each separate tank wall here, we're getting a different level of treatment. We've had oxidation in some, we've got just mixers in some, and then we've got a massive aeration system in this side. As it goes in its treatment stage, there's windows in the concrete walls. It's got to get to a certain elevation before it can run through. Thus, it gets its retainage time in this tank. This replaces the clarifiers and the roughing filters that were the old plant system that really weren't getting the job done. As it's running through the big tanks here, it's going to go into four little filter con concentrated cell groups that are actually called the cartridge packs, a Suez product. From the point that it leaves those cartridges, it runs into a UV ultraviolet treatment to kill any remaining bugs, and then it is returned back out to the lake through the effluent discharge piping. The four building and tanks that I've just demonstrated, our quick little walkthrough, are the first milestone. These four tanks will be put in service and replace the old plant. At that time, there's a second phase that will start with a new thickener building and a solid storage handling unit. Also converting some of the existing tanks into storage vessels. We're approximately nine months into a two and a half year project and I believe we're doing pretty darn good as far as schedule and timeline go. This is Marty with Race Lake. Have a great day.